So I'm playing around with animated book covers and um, I've made some cool stuff but I wanted to make this one in Photoshop and I'll show you why I needed to go to Photoshop. I was trying to make something, this is the one that I just made, well something like the one I just made. This is um what I used making GIF Maker. So I basically just made different versions of the cover, different pictures to look like that. Oops which you could do in Photoshop or another editing program. Um, you could make something a lot simpler if you just wanted some. I was looking for something like so that they could uh, smile or wink their eyes or just something so make it a little bit. However, I really like the smooth ones and these animated GIFs that I'm making aren't quite so smooth. Um, anyway, so I thought I could do it with GIF Maker Me, but it was coming out kind of like this, which is actually kind of cool. but. Um, not quite as smooth as I was looking for. Let me grab this one. This is just a GIF so I can just drag and drop it. Um, but I went into Photoshop because I can I have a little more control with animated GIF. So in Photoshop what you need to do is I have all these layers and you go up to window and timeline. Timeline shows you the action of the animation. So this is my timeline. Um, and then in each one of these layers, I just pick what's showing up for that layer. So I hit on number one, um, and for number one, I have just this layer showing up. And then number two, I have this layer showing up. So I'm just going through step by step for each different um, slide, basically. And then I have a few layers where nothing's really happening, and then the girl comes back down on the bottom. So this took a while to set up. I have a lot of layers. I had to do a little bit of editing on each layer. But then you basically just want, when, when you're clicking on one thing, you want the thing that you want to show up um, to be selected or not selected on that specific slide. And then you can change the smoothness and stuff. You can go with um, tween. And tween is kind of, it'll make in-between frames, between um, the frames you have. So it'll kind of guesstimate for you and it's frames to add. So for example, it's basically like these two are a little rough. There's a little too much between those. Um, so if I go on tween with the next frame and add, well, I can add five. So it just added these other layers where it makes that transition a little smoother. Um, but now it spends too much time there. So I'm actually going to take those out. Um, I could go in and I could add more tweening. I could try to select the whole thing. Which should make it a little smoother, but that didn't work. I did something wrong. Um, and it's actually okay how I have it without the extra tweening. It basically looks like this. Whoops. So now there's an extra layer that's um, that got reset that I'd have to go back and stop. I've already saved this one, so I'm not going to keep working on it right now because I'm making a video. This is kind of what it looks like. So it's just a little bit smoother than that other one that I had made. And it's kind of just for fun. I mean, I, I, I could make a lot of these for fun. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a big website or a gallery just playing around with it. It's a little bit silly. It's not as cool and awesome. Um, and some of the other ones that I've made that are just very subtle, a little bit of glow, glowing. Like for example, this one just has some glows. So it just makes it a little bit cooler, and, but without being 
fun and cheesy. Um, book covers, especially like this, you want them to be awesome. You don't want them to be funny. But I also want to make some things that people like and enjoy. So this is the kind of thing, if I could make specific little movies that kind of represent what's the theme of the book, that could be a lot of fun. Anyway, there's a lot better probably guides to making animated GIFs in Photoshop, but um, this is a quick one for making one that you can use for your book covers. But if you don't have Photoshop and that's too complicated, you can also just use GIF Make With Me. You just upload all the images that you want to use. Um, it'll just upload them. You can change the animation speed and create a GIF animation. It's all really quick and easy. I'm going to make some more that are kind of more fun and I'll be making a gallery or something. Um, but you can try this at home and have a lot of fun with it. So this is the one that I made in here. And it could look something like that.